as I told you, I was going to show you some of the things we're planning on doing. Now, this panel here in the front we took off. I know they're my <laughs> Day of the Dead skulls. As a lot of you may know, I do like the Dead of the Dead. It's just, I, I like the colors, the brilliance. I always liked it. And being Spanish, I was brought up with it. Right there, that was my husband's. And that Ganesha was my husband's. And certain things that were his, I will not throw away. There is a, what do they call it, gargoyle? which was my grandson's that passed away, and I will keep that also. But all this, I'm going to have the background. That's going to be all a different color, of course. I'm thinking of putting contact paper there, and then I'm going to paint this whole front part, and up here I'm going to put the reflectix so that I can... All the front, the whole front. <laughs> so that I can put some lights up on it and it will just really, I'm going to put some color lights and that way it would really be pretty. It's going to, uh, when I'm done, I'll show you. But um, I love this little thing I found. I think I showed you all before also that says, God bless all our little, all our fur babies. And yes, God bless them. They make our lives so happy. And that, again, I also found that in the rummage sale. And this is my drum. I love to go drumming. It's very relaxing to me. Um, Noah is working here to get an exhaust fan going, so that's work in progress. This mechanism here that opens and closes the door, well, that eventually will come out. We're going to do something different with the door. But right now, something we discovered is that we can actually lock that door. The This door here, we can actually lock it from the outside by pushing in hard, and it locks. Of course, I've got the driver's door there, which I have a key for. So that seat there is terrible. It's terrible to travel with. Uh, I'll have more springs up my bottom. <laughs> it's no fun. We're going to replace that. All this was gonna, we're trying to do before we leave. So it's a work in progress, like I said earlier. Okay. <clears throat> I am now outside, and it is hot, hot, hot. Noah just got back from getting some gas for the generator so that we could have some air conditioning in the in the bus. Oh, that costs a lot. You know, it <clears throat> takes about, oh, I would say a gallon a day. And at that, at the cost of, of uh, gas, <laughs> it accumulates a lot. You know, over $20 a week just to get it cooled off but I guess in a sense it's a lot cheaper than having electric and having it plugged up to you know the electricity because that costs a lot too so but it, it, it's hard <laughs> but anyway at least it is cool and I'm thankful for that uh, we are trying to get everything ready so that we can go out and do our mission. Uh, still planning October. Uh, at least it'll be cooler traveling in October. Also considering I don't have air conditioning in my van as far as, you know, traveling wise. I mean, I have an air conditioner when we're stationary, but not when we're going down the road. And Noah doesn't have air conditioning in the van either, so <clears throat> it'll be cooler for us, at least that way. <clears throat> we <clears throat> still don't know exactly where we're going. Destination is up to God, not me. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I, uh, I'm leaving it all up to him. Uh, 
a lot of people have asked me already, well, where are you going? I don't know. Which way are you going? I don't know. <laughs> it's not, it's for me to listen to what he says. And when God tells me, you go this way, I'm going to go. That's all there's to it. Uh, we, I've eliminated a lot of things. I've even gotten rid of some clothes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And we're going to try to make it uh, where we have a little table and a couple of chairs. Because Noah and I like to play games like, you know, Mexican Train, which is a domino game, or Yahtzee. We like to play Yahtzee. And we can't do that. We don't have no place to do it in there. So we're going to redo a lot of their, the inside to make it more functional so that we both can enjoy it. Uh, the bed's going to be narrower, enough for me to be able to sleep, turn, you know. And what I'm going to cut off, I'm going to use as a back drop for it to make it into like a sofa. And it will be a lot better. It'll take up less room. And we're going to get us, we're, <clears throat> I'm really, financial wise, <laughs> I'm looking at finances now. Uh, I'd like to get like a 30 gallon, uh, yeah, for, for water source. <laughs> Boy, you know, like they have an, an RVs and all, but I'd like to get a 30 gallon one and I could put that underneath my bed. And that way I can also have water in, for the sink and shower or what have you, but mostly for the sink and cooking and water for the animals and for us. Um, and that way we don't have to, 30 gallons will last us a long time. We don't use that much water. Uh, I think most of the water we use is for coffee, a little bit for food, and the animals and ourselves to drink. That's it. That's it. Um, so that's all our plans. Uh, and I think, you know, with it being October, I think it's going to give us time to be able to get a lot of things done. We're, uh, I'm so frugal. I mean, I don't believe in going out and buying a lot of things. I just believe in going out and seeing what I can find that is either free or extremely cheap <laughs> and uh, I know though now when it comes to the water uh, the container that I'm going to get I definitely will have to get a new one I don't want a used one um, and then the plumbing won't be nothing to have to do and we got uh, we'll have a sink <clears throat> we have a faucet a nice faucet that you can pull the the uh, head off, you know, and spray. That's nice. We could actually take showers outside that way too if we wanted to. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we got that. We've had that faucet now for almost a year. <laughs> I haven't even used it yet, so we will be using that. Uh, of course, we'll be towing the trailer. There's no options on that. We, we do have things we have to tow the trailer. Uh, a lot of my paintings, I have all intentions of putting it on my ceiling. The old paintings, not the new ones I'm going to make, but the old ones, and cover my ceiling with it. Um, now, to find the things that will hold those little canvases up and stay put, Mm, I'm still trying to debate what I can use. So if any of you know of any good glue or any adhesive that I can use that dries quick, that when I put the, the canvas up there, that it will stay. <laughs> yeah, really. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of things that I want to get done. and Heat does not help. It is so hot. It is so hot. Uh, it's supposed to be 96, 97 today, and you know, living in a tin can, uh, you feel it a lot more. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just want to get you up into what we're planning on doing, and uh, 
please pray for us. Keep us in your prayers. I am so anxious to get on the road, but I know that it isn't time yet. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when you try to get ahead of God, you're going way behind. <laughs> so I'm letting him be the one in control of my mission and not me. <laughs> so until later, my friends, I love you all. God bless you. Take care. And don't forget, I never say this, don't forget to subscribe, to comment, to like. I think there's something else, but I don't remember. Anyway, I hardly ever say that, but I love you all. Take care.